And in Onslow County, we know that district leaders are focused on keeping students safe on the bus and in the classroom. Students are divided into two groups, alternating between in-person classes and remote learning. Today, they're making their first class switch of the semester. Our Camila Barco takes a look at the impact on transportation. The road to school is looking different for students this year. They're not only wearing masks and practicing social distancing at school, they're also doing it on school buses. Getting on a school bus isn't the same this year. Good morning. Southwest Elementary School teachers will screen their students. If there's anybody that has really bad headaches. Or asking if they or someone at home is sick. When you get off the bus, just come to me. Before they get off a bus, drivers check their temperature. Or in some cases, teachers do it on campus. Very good. You are good to go. Social distancing and mask, it's mandatory. If they say they can't wear a mask, then we have to isolate them to, in front of the bus and we keep them six feet away from the other students. Only one student per seat unless they're with a sibling. You to have at least two seats apart from Drivers disinfect between runs and Wednesdays are dedicated to deep cleaning. We go in, we wash the inside of the buses down, and then we respray. Transportation Director Mike Henderson's biggest challenge is keeping bus drivers. We need bus drivers. We need bus drivers. But current staffing isn't affecting current routes. We're running our same buses. What we've done this year, we're running our full runs. Because of reduced capacity at schools, the district will cut down on its routes to accommodate the two student groups in a few weeks. We're, it's different, um, but we're adapting. Just like with anything, you always have to adapt with different changes. Henderson is 100% confident this is the safest model for bus riders and drivers. We're doing everything we can do. In Jacksonville, Camila Barco, 9 on your side.